You're watching Suck Professor. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hank. I'm playing Valheim here on uh, the um, electronic machine. Thanks for tuning in. Part 123, as I promised, we are... Boy, my food is way low. We are uh, going to head off and shoot an old friend in the... Somewhere near the body or the head, which is part of the body. Is the head part of the body? The body's definitely not part of the head. I'd say the head is part of the body. Update update the physics textbooks. So, um... I'm going to try frost arrows and obsidian. I haven't even done anything with any, any of those items yet. So, I don't really know what goes into them. So, let's see. Frost arrow needs feathers, obsidian, and wood. A shard of piercing ice. Kind of like the daggers you get out of my eyes when you tell me the buffet is about to close. A shard of piercing blue eyes. I have beautiful blue eyes. Especially if I'm wearing blue skin paint. Because then it brings out my blue eyes. And I've had women say, Wow, you got pretty eyes. And I go, Tell that to my dating profile. Um, no, but I don't. If a dude said that, I'd be like, I don't care. You're a dude. Especially a straight guy. Fuck off. I don't want your compliments. Gay guys love their compliments. Hit on me. Fucking tell me you want to do all sorts of terrible shit to me. Not interested, but I'm flattered. I love it. <laughs> That's happened a few times, but not like... Not in the way... No. Still totally flattered. Those are the people whose judgment I respect. I've been a straight guy since I was a baby. No, no respect for my judgment. I'm trying to piss people off. Hey, I'm a straight guy. You're offending. I don't... I'm not even sure why I'm thinking about that right now. It's funny how people do look for opportunities to reaffirm the identity they so desperately cling to. We all got to have some kind of emotional support, even if it comes from, you know, shaky ground. Myself included. What the fuck am I working on right now? Arrows. But anyway, point being... I don't, my eyes are nicely blue, but I think they're they're slowly turning kind of a desaturated like zombie eyes because as I age and stress and time wears away my soul. Okay, sorry, I'm not focused at all. I think I just need wood. Yeah, I got freaky Swedish eyes. That's what they are. Blue. Maybe that's German. I don't know. Those are my two big ones. I am Swedish. What German? Awesome. <laughs> that's where it all comes from. Stupid immigrants from the 1800s. That's the people, you know, moved to America. Settled in the Midwest where they could abuse their children in peace. Um, good stuff. All right, craft some frost arrows. What the? Oh, my inventory is full. Are you fucking kidding me? Put away the wolf tooth. What is this? Crystal? It's a little note. Don't know what that's for. Alright. Frost arrow. Alright. Let's... Got 40 of them now, so let's... Just, uh... Inventory. Get some stuff out of the way. And then... One of our things will get us right to Bone Match real quick. You don't, you don't even have to really travel at all. He's probably just hanging outside the portal waiting for me. Okay. No, we'll do the iron last because then we'll reset it. I mean, maybe it'll do a ton of damage and I'll decide I want to fight him, so... Um, I think speed's our friend with this one. Here, let's stack them up like that's... Yeah, that's a that's a fun idea. These are little uh, stacks of... The head goes on top.
I tried a few different arrows as well. Poison's not going to do any good. Fire and obsidian. So in order... Here, we'll do it uh, like this. We'll save frost for last. Okay. And I think that's west. So east-west. Health is not great. I should have eaten first. Oh god, he's right there. <laughs> Shit. Uh fuck. I don't have my shield. Alright. No! Get the fuck out of my way! Fuck! I'm just trying to make Bone Mass chase me away. Well, this sucks. This is ab absolutely terrible already. Um, Alright, let's... Do I have a shield? No. Okay. Here comes the weak one. Look at the upper... Let's fire. Oh, shit. This is not... Alright. Obsidian. Did a little damage, not a lot. I'm gonna have to hop in that boat and just go run off till these alligators calm down. Let's try needle. He's right there with like in mid throw. I have a shield. Okay, here we go. Here's needle. 12.8. Say it one more time. Does he have more bones and shit? I don't recall. It's 10.1. Alright, guy. Chill out. Chill the hell out. Let's go with Frost. This is the big test here. Okay. Nothing about to get me. Twenty nine. Oh, that's great. That's like oh my god, sixty. We might have to come back and murder this motherfucker. I think I remember being able to survive quite a while against him. Yeah, man. I might even just drive off on the boat, and shoot him from the shore. I think I can kill him with 35 dots if I could hit him. Dude, this is giving me some hope. Probably need more than what I got. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. So I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna come back with some some stuff, some healing bits. Try to get out of here without using up a potion. 
Run away! Well, isn't that an interesting turn of events, huh? We, uh, I think we have a chance here. I think I, I, I knocked his ass down. I mean, that's still going to take a lot of attrition. We still have a, basically a, a plan of attrition here. Um, I hope this is getting... Yeah, that's west is that way. And that's where the sun is, which means we're starting out our night. So let's... Reset the fires, keep things rolling, and see my wood is just getting low. Um, but I'm gonna upgrade the arrow, make a bunch. I'm gonna start upgrade the bow, and then make a bunch of frost things, and then we will see if we can do that. Uh, upgrade. 15, 30, 15, 6. And 15 of these. Six deer hide. This is exciting. We're going to go back even stronger than that. And 30. See, it's so easy to accidentally just make one. Okay, so we're going to Pierce 41 from 51, I mean, so 48. Fine, take any advantage I can. And here's max quality, okay. All right, let's make, I think I have wood over here. Frozen glands. Feels like my sex life since the pandemic and probably, yeah, I'd say before too. <laughs> um, all right. I think I need like 60, but we'll just make a bunch. One more. That should be enough. Want to help me unfreeze my glands? Yes. Yes, I do, Hank. I'm going over. Okay. Door's unlocked. Susie. Okay, Hank. Cool. See you soon, Susie. Okay. Ah. That's Susie. All right, this is fun. Let's see, so I think we should eat some lox meat. There's, probably get some stamina powers going on. Let's put our shit away here that we don't need. Just let it all go. Um, we got potions, stamina, power. I want stamina more than anything else. So it's 60. This does 40. These are just res damage modifier. Fire resistant barley wine. What the hell? I don't even remember that. Um, yeah, we should probably have some healing stuff. Deciding on my what kind of armor armor should I go at him with? I think speed is better than anything. Um, all right, let's do one serpent. I'm gonna do this shit. Might as well do it right. <laughs> Never not entertained by that. I just love how they just make it huge. It's the size of the damn thing in the water makes sense. Bonfire's creepy over there, isn't it? Okay, so is it a mistake to not go in with all the armor? I mean, I'm just gonna run away and shoot this guy, you know what I mean? Should probably get a shield, though. There's the blue one, I don't even know where to put it. Oh, 
Oh fuck, I ran off on the serpent thing. What if that turned into charcoal? Shit, it's up here. They do take a while. Yes. Okay. All right, sleep. We got really good meats, at least for the initial. Um, sorry, just checking on. I know we have something better than honey. Sleep. Oh man, I'm getting excited. Wow, wet. Okay, okay. If James is watching, he must be just, just uh, tangling with anticipation. I know he catches up on these sometimes, or if he can't catch it, he's been playing some other game called Outriders. Uh, that's right, War Cry on my lips. That's dried tears. Food. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. Just that carrot soup in me. I don't know if I should just hit the water though. What's what's stopping me from just jumping in the boat? We'll use our echo your power. Okay, just double checking, just being. Ekathir. Oh, no. Well, we're bringing a, a, a brood head with us. <laughs> All right, well, maybe they are. They're a little aggressive. So keep an eye on the food. He did heal up. I get 60 shots on him, man. You suck, bone mass. I mean, the 60 point shots is what I mean. He will start healing, so I do need to kind of keep. Oh, God. Be a while. This is gonna take a while. Oh, that's so annoying. Gotta get those thistles. He's 
puking. Got 15 minutes of rested, that's excellent. Alright, let's, uh, let's get a moment to try to tackle a few of these guys there. Getting a little too crowded. Still on healing. Right, two more, more than I should have done. Just want to take a swing at a bunch of them. A leech. Just gotta keep steady. Maintain situational awareness. If I if he's not at fifty percent by the time I'm at fifty arrows. See I got fifty-eight arrows, so we're I'm asking for I almost think I need to run back and try to make some more arrows. Just because I'd rather find out now that he heals up when I leave, because I don't have enough to kill him. I'm not gonna he's not anywhere near fifty seven percent of his total. So let's I need like two hundred arrows at least. But if I can, if but if he's fully healed when I get back, at least we. I'd rather find out when he's at two thirds of his health than that, you know. Uh, come on. All right. We'll have to repair. Yeah, I, th I think getting on the boat does make a lot of sense to answer the chat question. Oh, no, I don't think I have enough obsidian to make any more. Ah, we might blue. Nah, shit, I don't. There's no way I can beat it with this many. That's just not enough. I just have to, I gotta go in with a lot more than that. And I know I'm out of obsidian. Unless I dump some, I thought I had a lot. But I guess, yeah. Okay. Well, we know we can beat them. Okay, this is still fine. I'd say we, that's an okay test. I just eighty-five might be enough to whittle him down with where he is. But we're definitely gonna have to go hit up the mountains. Might as well just run back and see where we're at. Do a little decorating. So if he's fully healed, we'll at least. I mean, maybe 85 is enough. Maybe we should just give it a go. But then I'm wasting all this time. And Okay, so he's not fully healed. Might as well, I guess. Get the damn... This is why I wasn't sure I wanted to be in the boat. Let's <laughs> see, I <laughs> I gotta circle around first. All 
I mean, 85 is a lot. Let's not, not kidding ourselves here. It's, this might be enough, actually, now that I'm seeing him whittle down. So I got the good food in me. Pop a stamina pill. shoulder a little more for some reason. But I want sixties, I don't want forties. Sixty two left. He's at about half. Okay, close. Okay, those are nice. Seventies. I think we got this. Nope, nope, nope. We're not going to do it unarmed yet. Ugly dude, huh? Poor woman. Forty-seven. I think we got this. Shoot a man in the head while he's vomiting.
I'm gonna rebuild. I don't know why I don't have that many quick buttons, but whatever. Take a, take a little breather up on this log. Certling gang over there. Great. Okay, we got this. There's no reason why this won't happen. Bone mass, anything you want to say? Any final grunts you'd like to have before you meet your maker? Bitch. Oh, don't worry, the priest is outside the door. Nothing more ominous than a fucking priest showing up at your hospital room, huh? <laughs> oh, great, you're here? Where's your boat? Boom! Hell yeah. The mass is fucked up. Now we got some new powers to get. Kill you. Huh? Huh? Man, I can't wait to brag down to the fellows down at the library about this today. Oh boy, big old blob. Oh, that's like his head. This is fucking weird head. Weird. What's that one fish that looks like bone mass? The bone mass fish? <laughs> Wishbone and a trophy. Do you always get a trophy? Yeah, I probably do. Oh! Oh god, I was like, what is that? Well met. I wanna do the sword on my back, that looks cool. Or the shield. Hey buddy, what's up, hugging? Seems one of the many bone bones this living ossuary hid in his belly was a wishbone. This bone contains powerful magic guides of the things hidden in the earth. It can locate silver veins. Oh great, silver? May also lead you to buried treasure. Okay, is this going to be what's in, in the rock formations and the weird shapes? So now I've got a darning needle. Is that the right word? What's what's those needles that you, they go, and they use them to find like water under the sand or some shit? I don't think it's real. Wow. All right. Thanks, bro. See you later. Bye. Bye, Huggins. Bye. Thanks for coming by. He diarrhea is on my face. Big, gross, white. I like to imagine that no matter what, birds poop is always white. Even if they eat blueberries. Okay, well that's great, man. I honestly was not expecting to have Bone Mass's trophy in my pocket by the end of today. Um, makes me want to like still throw shit in here, though, you know? What should we throw in here? Bone Mass? Six. Nothing happened. So, five. So I just have it. Oh, it's equipped. So I guess you just equip it and run around. Does it work right around here? We got to go back to the center, though. This is good, though, too, because this is we've been uh, we've just exhausted all the dungeons. 
back this one. I meant to do that. So all those um, sunken crypts are empty. And now that we're Bone Mass's daddy, we can come here and steal his stuff too. Like, am I carrying it around? Does it does it take up a space? Hey, it came out of the door. Kinda. World safe. Here's one of these creepy ass things. Is this. You giving me any sense of whatever? <laughs> Something secret. Show yourself, secrets. Oh, there's this. Okay. Let's head over to the structure. See whatever. nothing. I think I was just seeing stuff. Might have just been some trickery of the others oh, there. That's the what I was seeing here. I hear bees. That means there's a spawner. Huh. Oh god. Oh, something happened. Oh, okay. Weird. Shit's going down. Something's going on here. <laughs> Does that mean I just start digging down? Is it going to be like a frequency? Like the closer I get, the faster it beeps. Sneaking so they don't notice me.
All right. This is kind of cool, though. I wish it was daytime. I could see it. Yes. Okay. All right. So the thing that's making all that racket. I'll be able to dial it in. I mean, you know. We've all played video games long enough to know that fast beeping and higher pitch mean you're... Slow down. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think? Well, why don't we just call it a day today? We'll come back tomorrow. No, I'm just joking. That'd be, <laughs> be cruel. What the hell is going on here? No. Okay, so I guess we'll dig. Muddy scrap pile. I don't even have inventory space right now. Hang on. Something I didn't need realize. Doing this date dark, dark time. Kind of annoying. I guess you just keep going until you clear the muddy scrap pile. See what kind of shit we can find. Right now, I'm getting soaked with water. So, is it just like iron and shit? Is just is this just a regular ass muddy scrap pile? Hey, can I wall this off? This would be a good test for the other spot that we got. That is cool that it does this though. This will be great in other areas. And I'm glad to see it works in the dungeon or in the swamp. In the swamp zone. Let me just make a pile here then. I'm just curious if it's like withered bones and frickin' scrap iron. Like, you know, that's fine, but I was kind of hoping for other cool stuff. However, it could mean totally different things in different locations. So, I want to run around in a meadows or somewhere else. So, we definitely got to go get some more frost stuff. Do I have it equipped? No, I don't. Let's keep going. So, it replaces the... weight belt. Hey. Got a whole damn family reunion going on over here. Oh, I'm gonna let my stamina get up.
might actually kill me if I'm not. If I can. Oh, there's a guy. Look at the guy behind the tree. A little busy right now, there, buddy. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Oh, creep. Library masturbator. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh god. Alright, hang on. See how much more distracting this whole come down. I'm guessing muddy scrap pile. We'll come back on that stuff. I gotta like kinda like, you know, get my get, get our victory under our you know. It's not really done until you're home and you've got the oh, another one? Jesus. We do the dance. We do the muddy scrap pile dance. We do the dance. We dance with our friends, the skeletons. I'm guessing since it's this area, you're just going to get a bunch of muddy scrap piles and stuff. So, I'm already getting... I'm not saying bored with it, but I'm looking forward to trying this in other areas. Goes away as soon as you crack it open once. So 
think there's going to be a lot, a lot of these to be found. All right, let's just get the hell out of here. We got all kinds of. Is that the guy? Sir? Try to talk to you, but try to schedule a meeting. No, I think it's a drogger. Snake. Bitch ass le leeches. I don't have stamina, damn it. fighting all these guys, but... Fucking blob is so annoying. Okay, I gotta build a shelf or something. Since we we are gonna come back for 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 what you call it, iron and stuff. Although um, for the dungeons and crap, but I also think I'll move the portal once we kind of get ready to do some of them. But meanwhile. Just to store the iron, even though it's only four, but that's what we're gonna do.
Look at these two numb nuts. It's like a Muppets character. Take that. You'll be teaching killed children in hell. Hell, of course, having very good daycare. Some of it. Don't pick up this shit. Okay. All right. Just gonna repair this real quick. I don't know if I have anything in the Okay, we're going to go to the center. Oh, man. Ugh. So this is good, though. All right, we'll do an inventory dump, and then we'll hit the middle up. And we'll bring our fun new little toy. See if we can find some cool shit out in the meadows. Just to sort of experiment a little bit. Anything else? Bone mass's head. Ah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's a trophy. Alright, hang on. Let's put him... great <laughs> that's beautiful reminds me of some toys you had in a kid Just gross little gelatin things that stick to the wall or whatever Beautiful shot. It's gonna need some pretty strong water pick to get all that, all those skulls out of his teeth. Uh, all right, we got so much stuff here. Okay, so let's head up. See if we can sleep. Let's hopefully that we can wait out this weather here. Sweet. I don't know if the weather really will update, but we'll find out. It does. Yeah, maybe it'll clear. It's got James's rib cage in him too. It's exciting. Okay, cool. There it goes. So yeah, one of these here goes to the home, to the center. I think this one's Haldor. It's also like real close. So let's just see where this goes anyway. I'm guessing the mountains are like the next step. The fallings, no, that's definitely not. Fallings are tougher than the, uh, whatchamacallit, the wolves and stuff. Seems like, pretty sure, the plains. But I am worried, in a broader sense, 
not about the immediate future of, you know, we've been arousing foul stenches from the swamp area. You know how that whole thing works, where they you get raided. If I get raided by fullings, I'm I don't have like a real solid defense system here. This is like a open works work environment. That would fuck me up. So I think I'd be able to survive it, but I think it'll come with a lot of wreckage. Um, so let's hit. <laughs> Gotta do some tree harvesting. Very curious what we get from bone mass, though. I mean, this is a cool power. Alright, maybe we'll shoot some deer with the, uh... Put the locks meat away, just don't want to accidentally eat it. Cooking. Spit it out. Yes. Here we go. Oh yeah. So yeah, we got I mean just work everywhere. There's gotta do this roof. Um, I think up here we'll put some sort of I don't know, table. We'll start with like a simple decorative table. You know, like a, some junk you get from Costco's garden center. You know, back by the free samples. I love those free samples. That grocery store free sample makes me a happy boy. I can live off that stuff. I probably will end up living off of it. Um, okay, let's see where this goes now. I didn't even remember what it was called. Oh, alright, good. Okay, hang on. Let me just, uh, home. Rename SP South. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit. Let's check these. Oh, bunch of black metal scrap. We're running. Yeah, let's also swing by, you know, whatever kind of weird structures or things are standing around. This rock looks new. Has this rock always been here? Why does this seem... Okay. I like it. I like something that lets me befriend animals and stuff. However, that works. Hey, <laughs> adorable! It's trying to go through it. Start point. Don't be mad now. Why are you like this? Want a raspberry? A piece of your own cooked flesh? How does this one do? Faster wood cutting? All right. Wanderer, look to your feet. That tread upon our tomb. One thousand bones without their meat will drag you to your doom. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to bring the hook to it. I'm dumb. 
Real dumb. I'm so happy to have it on the wall. All right, we're gonna take like a slightly circuitous route. I just want to sort of perhaps set off some sort of secret thing. one of them. Hold on, let me get some raspberries. Oh, see? As I suspected. Better be a muddy scrap pile. Okay, box, chest. Oh, a silver necklace. Wow. Okay. Alador is going to look beautiful in that while he and I have amorous interactions until the sunrise. So why is it still blinking now? Like the muddy scrap piles would go away before. Oh, because there's still something in there? Or is there more? Like it would stop at the muddy scrap pile, but this is not stopping. I love it though. I love a buried chest. I really do. <laughs> Who doesn't love a buried chest? Oh. Okay, cool. So let's go get the damn trophy. We gotta recover every single step we've taken in the entire game to find hidden items. Sorry, we're just gonna have to do it. I'm gonna watch every single video that we've put up and it just has to happen. There's no other way. This is the way. Silver necklace. 30. These are worth, well, 460. Whatever, let's put this shit away. Um, coins, rubies. Potions and shit away. All right, man. Stuff is happening. Go get this blob head off the wall. I'll just stuff that in my pocket there. It's mostly water anyway. Not now, pigs. Uh-oh. Here's another one. <laughs> Can't go crazy with this. 
gotta be connected to that. It seems like it's got kind of a radius. Um, besides, I wanna see what this thing's all about. Yes, take that bone mass. Oh, little things of blood and bone I should have snapped you like a twig, now I wither and die. Okay. All right. The red tendrils are floating upwards towards heaven. Read. No, we already did it. Okay, ooh, okay. So big modifier, so this is for like battles and stuff. Okay. All right, but finding stuff—that's awesome. That's the—that's the bigger one. Um, we are going to be doing some tree chopping pretty soon here. Let's just give it a quick run around. Let's see if our thing pops up. Check out some of these rock formations. Sometimes these things are deep in the woods. There's weird ones. There's obvious ones. There's Okay, it's active. There is a sign around here. It's the one that sits on about how you make friends with them. No. How you do something with the, uh, whatchamacallit, boards. So I'm going to run around. Hope that the thing goes off as well as see if I can find that one again. It's like having a fish locator. This feels like uh No. She's fighting the beast. Some shield maiden. That's probably gonna end up being like, you can now have a girlfriend. Do you want to take her on a date? Yes. Do you want to have a sip of mead? Yes. Do you want more sips of mead? Yes, 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 yes. And then you, like, get too drunk. She tells her friends, you're just a whiskey dick. I'm like, damn. All right. Oh, okay. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat out of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. The good wood and stone, the fruits and flowers of the forest. This land is hard enough. So if I sneak up, I feel like a mushroom is what's is really what they're asking for, but I don't have any. I have raspberries. So let's just see this. I'm trying to find a mushroom. Great plan. Got a whole party of deer happening over here. Die. some how do they get him to eat out of your hand I don't really know that part but I know I can sneak up on him oh 
Okay. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. You want to have a mushroom? I just ate one. You want to eat one with me? Let's eat mushrooms together. I just had a raspberry. You do it like me. You chew it. You chew. Mushroom? I'm feeding it to you. He's not... Are we buds? Oh, are we going to be pals? <laughs> Do I just drop it? He's wild and hungry. Or she. Don't be angry. Oh no, now they're scared. Well, that was progress. See, look, look at the look at the irrationality that fear provokes in a, in, a, in a being. Fear is the bad foundation from which to operate. It can serve its uses at certain points in life, but man, does it fuck shit up. Chronic fear on all its various forms: acute anxiety. I just don't know how to do the part where they eat. I like that I can get up close to him, though. Maybe you're just going to sit next to him for a little while. This one's lonely. Eat. Oh, heart. That is how it works. Oh, I, okay. All right, so I, it did eat the one I dropped. Then it turned on me. I think I'd stood up. That's cool. All right. I'm going to go read that thing again. And I think we're going to call it a day, guys. So, uh, this has been very, um, a lot of progress. I'm, still, I'm a little frozen in terms of ideas for the house, other than just, like, putting tables down and putting potions on the tables. That's always fun. So, here. They fear fire and the hand of man that can be taught to obey. Go quietly them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. So, I'm guessing, like, not just mushrooms. I'm just thinking mushrooms. What is... Okay, never mind. This rock right here, th I thought it was like, a, that's a stump. I thought it was like a guy curled up. You know what? No, I don't have any deer heads. I was going to go fuck up e Ekathir just for fun. I kind of want to go back to the Elder. See how how that fight goes. And if I want more bone mass trophies, honestly, I don't think that's too, he's not a, we could do that again. So, yeah, well, all right. Well, look, we did a bunch of decent adventuring. We even had an, a serpent fight that we, I'd say we won since I shot it in the face a bunch of times and it ran off. But I'm very curious how the harpoon will work in that situation. Is it all you need? Do you, Can you just skip shooting it or do you just have to, like, weaken it down and then harpoon it? Which is kind of how I'm expecting it to go. Why am I wearing the thing? Yes, I still am. Kind of took a weird route here. But, uh, yeah. Getting bone mask done. That's cool. This hidden item thing is going to be really interesting. I like the randomness of it. it. Seems like there's some patterns to it in terms of, like, finding rock formations, etc. But also, I got a feeling there's probably just some cool surprises buried out in the world. Which means I'm going to just start digging. Just going to dig up the entire planet. Um... And I, uh, that pig did give me, I did get a yellow heart. So something there works in terms of it eating.
All right. Oh, shit. What if I died? Stuck. It's a nice way to get into my house. These are out. All right. Okay, cool. So much more to do. So much more organizing to do. I want this room to look really cool. It already looks pretty damn cool, I'd say, but there's still cut. Like, I don't know. I just want this to be functional. And oh, I forgot. That's right. Put the hoe. Okay. Maybe I'll do like a little gardening one. Just, just a smally one. Just for, just for items. That way, I'll remember. Certainly don't need to put the club so forward. It's gonna be like the wall of retirement. Like there'll be like stuff on the walls that are not used. That's probably the one way to do it. Um. Yeah, and more portal kind of sorting out. And uh, meanwhile, I guess we're good. Thank you for watching, everybody. It's Doc Professor. Check the description. You can buy some woodworking stuff. I'm posting crap on Etsy now. Make it on my balcony. Find garbage out in the streets. It's it's wood from construction sites and, and furniture and stuff. Actually, I got a dresser today. <laughs> I'm just going to show the, everybody real quick on the camera. I took a picture of it. I always get a little excited, and I feel like a big dork when I do this, but I found a Pretty good dresser. This has a lot of good flat boards. Can you see that? Um, yep, got a nice dresser. That's it on the street right there. And then I uh, put that fucker into my 2012 Prius with leather seats. So there you go. Check that out. That's going to turn into some candle holders, maybe some interesting other items, perhaps a shit stool that you can buy for your belt for your to hold your feet up while you poo. And when you do that, you can think of me. And of course, here's another photo of uh the same thing but in the rearview mirror that's how you that's how you can tell i'm artsy i took one in the rearview mirror there you go was that exciting link in the description for the woodworking shit bye all right twitch goodbye yes uh carrots yeah I'm, that was i didn't finish that thought but yeah and it says yeah it seems like anything that grows in the ground carrots and stuff is probably smart but we made progress. I did get a yellow. I did get a yellow heart. <laughs> Just can't wait to play with. Uh, good night, Shelter Bell. Good night, every other viewer, whoever it might be. Um, hey, Steve, seventy-seven. At the very beginning, inquired about Amazon subscription. And we're not an affiliate partner yet, or whatever you need to be. But uh, it was flattered by the question. And uh, FT Ward. Good night. Take care. See ya. Thanks for hanging out. Um, you guys all take care. I'm um, shit. When am I going to come on again? So I'm going to be doing, you'll be seeing some woodworking streams this week for sure. On Wednesday, we'll be doing Valheim maybe tomorrow, Sunday, but I really want to focus on both putting up the rest of my listings. I have ready. I don't have any ready. I have, I have photos for like four or five more and it's just, what is this? What is this? Get out of here. Get the hell, get back into the sea from whence you walked. I kick. Um, so anyway, yeah, we'll see how fast I can get through that. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm developing, like everything I do, I eventually come up with like the, what sort of seems like the fastest way to do it. And uh, very much in that process right now on, on this stuff. Cause you know, I can't like, if, if like listing it takes a half hour, like what the fuck? That's another half hour that I want to get paid <laughs> just in terms of my philosophy about life. It's like your labor is your value. I mean, that's your time and you should be paid for it, but I can't just be like, well, gee, just took a half hour. I mean, I'm going to charge another 15 or 20 bucks. That's just not how it works. So I got to come up with a system to um, get the per unit labor down to a point where it's worthwhile, including materials costs and Etsy fees. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff to sort of sort out, but also obsessing over that right now is I think a mistake too, because I'm just getting the reps. I just need to do it for the reps. Even if it takes longer right now, five years from now, well, let's not say five years, four to five months, six months. If I'm still like fumbling through, then I'm not learning from the, from it and I'm doing some slower, but all right, I'll quit rambling. Uh, you guys be good. Take care. See you around again soon. Um, yeah, I mean, the podcast will come out in the middle of the week because I'm just switching that to the week. Oh, damn it. Motherfucker. I'm going to stab you with one of my spears. Oh, you want to...
harpoon me, huh? I mean, you want to mess with me, bitch? Now you're mine. You belong to me. You, ca <laughs> you can't escape me. It's not doing a lot of damage. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. If this fucking kills me, man. I'm gonna die. No, nope, it's gonna be close. Run away. This dude's entering my home. He goes and then just like turns and runs. Whoa, don't poison bone mass. <laughs> it tried to heal everything in the room. Okay. All right, now we're finally getting out of here. Take care, everybody. See ya. Love y'all. Good night. Bye.